Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Saving Granddad's Farm with me, Alex. And uh, you join me in Granddad's County, the 754. We're taking it for a bit of a whirl, uh, making it blow some smoke, and we are just really uh, taking it for a little run to the nearest uh, merchants, really. Well, um, behind me, I've got a pallet full of seed and a little bit of uh, liquid fertilizer as well. So we're getting ourselves ready to do a little bit of uh, spring tillage work. And. Uh, I just want to get everything ready. Today is going to be a busy day. We've got a lot to cover. Uh, a lot of things are going to happen here as well. We're going to get on with a little bit more cultivation work of a, a new type with a new piece of equipment that we've just bought. Uh, there's going to be a lot of comings and goings. We have our brand new, to me, tractor. Uh, my first tractor that I've ever bought myself uh, for the business here is in the yard already. I picked it up earlier this morning uh, and it wasn't just a tractor I bought either. We're going to have a look at that momentarily. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to get the little county out really and have a bit of a blast in it. Uh, get some more cobwebs blown out really. I think we've done that perfectly well. So uh, what's about to happen um, in about the next hour or so, I'm waiting for the phone call to confirm they're arriving, is there's a low, tractor low loader coming to pick up some uh, junk, some scrap. And one of the things that is scrap here is going to be... Uh, it's going to be this old girl. It's gone. It's just... There's many issues. It does start, it does function. It sounds like a tank when it starts up, which is less than ideal. It's just battered. It's got a lot of miles on the clock, and it's just not not needed, to be fair. I mean, look at the truck that I've got already here, and I think you'll agree. It, I don't need to, to worry about investing any more in the truck right now. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of going to be the end of that. But, uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that there for now, I think. And then what we might just do, actually, is... No, we have to leave this about the way because, like I say, the low loader is coming soon and want to give those folk as much room as they need. So we'll just push you about there. Handbrake on. Handbrake still works with this remarkably well, actually. It's a real gem. And knock you off. Okay, so I mentioned that this is obviously one of my uh, existing tractors. Left the beacon on. That's going to drain the battery. Then you off there. Yeah, the 754 has been working very well. It's still a few nice little jobs here and there. It's looking good. But we do need a new tractor. And so I bought one. Uh, we have a budget. And I, I went out there and, and spent a little bit of it this morning. And ladies and gentlemen, look, I've got a Ford. I bought myself a Ford, can you believe? It's a 7840 four-wheel drive, as you can see there. Um, I didn't really need a front linkage. There was an option, an, an older model. It did have a front linkage on there, but we opted against that one. This this is, I believe, it's in the region of 105-ish horsepower, maybe a little bit more. Uh, with the SLE version as well. It's got plenty of power to it for what I need. And yeah, it's in immaculate condition. It's got about 6,000, 6,500 hours on the clock. It's had one owner prior to this since new, so it's in a beautiful condition. And this is going to be my main tractor, really. Uh, main cultivation tractor. Main everything tractor, really, there. And look at it inside. It just looks so, so clean and tidy. Fire it up there, and it sounds pretty bob on as well. We actually need to move it because we need to get in what well, this combine's going, effectively. That is the second piece of equipment that will be going. Uh, I think the combine's going to go first because I'm having to bring an extra piece of equipment down for that, and then they're going to come back and try and get hold of the uh, pickup that uh, pickup truck when they can. But yeah, at the moment, uh, space is of a premium. I am just kind of abandoning things all over. But we'll get this, this combine moved, and then we'll be looking much better. Later on today, we're going to take this uh, old beast out. We're going to give it a bit of a whirl. Now, the plow on the back, you'll see, obviously, it is a Kavirlin plow. Uh, we'll just leave you there. This, I didn't really go out to buy a plow. It just kind of felt happened, really. And it it's in great shape here. It's uh, an old, it is an old plow, it's fourth row, but the metal uh, bodies were replaced very recently. As you can see, it looks immaculate. Really, really does there. Very little work on it. Just the main chassis, the headstock of the plow as well, is still in very good condition. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice little setup for us. Uh, the plan for this afternoon is to start and do a little bit of work uh, just around the corner here. Uh, as we get around, you'll see what I mean. This big field uh, out right out in front of me here, we're going to split this up. This is a big field, uh, too big by my standards, really. So we're going to start to plow in some boundary lines here, uh, and then we're going to look to break this up. We're going to get a grass pasture up at the top end there, and then we're going to split this into a few smaller fields as well. So that should be uh, an interesting little project there, and just to kind of make us have a little bit more of a crop rotation uh, allow it to kind of function a little bit more there so that's uh that's what we're going to be thinking of there i think it should work quite well and uh yeah we did get that field of ours all worked over there in the last episode which was great 
uh, and that is really looking good so we'll be able to okay, get a little bit more work done soon uh, and then the rest of the job at some point today we are going to get this all tidied up here we're going to get this pile of wood shifted and we need to kind of just figure out what we're going to do uh, with this equipment I want to try and see if this drills in working order it does look like it's got a tree growing to it so I'm inclined to think it's not going to work very well uh, but we'll see and yes uh, we need to get the metal points put onto the cultivator here because this can also seed grass and also seed rape uh, so we we'll probably will have a look at that to get that into the ground sooner rather than later uh, but the main thing that we are going to be looking at is getting rid of this old girl here and it's a it's a it's a bit of a sad day uh someone was asking in one of the comments of the previous video if we're going to try and keep this and get it restored uh i wish unfortunately it is completely uh gone it's a rust job underneath the um the straw walkers are all gone there some of them are just lying loose inside it hasn't been moved or started since it was pushed in here by uh by granddad now i do say pushed it wasn't able to be um driven in under its own steam there it had to be rolled in so something was seriously wrong with it back then and it's just kind of capitulated really so uh, the header doesn't look too bad if i'm being honest the header looks like it could be salvaged but we're gonna if we're getting another combine from somewhere it's going to include a new header so it kind of rules that one out as well but but the problem is here well how do you how do you get rid of it how am i going to shift it so I have pulled in the, the uh, help of a, um, a kind of a recovery specialist. He's, also, he's a farmer, but he does do uh, kind of breakage and um, he, he has a bit of a wreckers yard full of combines. So he's going to come pick this one up and stick it into his heap. It's probably going to go to scrap in like the, a few days time or a couple of months time, certainly. But, you know, that can be his problem. I just want it out of my shed because I really want to be able to strip all this shed out, clear it all out of all the weeds and then get equipment in here start to stack things in here that we need because yeah storage space is at a bit of an, a premium here so if we can use a space like this properly then that's exactly what i want to do uh so he should be arriving really anytime soon i should think uh, and then we can look to get this all uh tied up and buttoned up but for right now whilst we wait we're just going to kind of move this feet out we'll get that, that log yard swept up the uh the county here the beloved county is going it's coming to be picked up very shortly uh i do believe uh there is a company called uh ghoul agricultural services or ghoul agricultural contracting they're gonna come pick this one up and uh we will be able to kind of get that clear out of the way here got a good price for it in the end so i'm very happy with it but more importantly it's just gonna free up some space for me and we can get this uh shed working back into a workshop really i think we're gonna try and repair it and and get it going there the fear i have decided i am keeping that's going to be like a homage to my uh, to my granddad really just to keep that up was one of his favorites which is why it's in such immaculate condition inside there so uh that's what we're going to look to do and keep hold of that really and just uh yeah very ex intrigued and excited to see how that all comes together really uh right now though just want to get some of this oh jeez that's a bit heavier than it looks uh get some of this all stacked up I want to clear some space on the shed because I want to put the plow into here when I'm not using it. Uh, we do need to get some of this stuff just cleaned up, really. There we go. Uh, ideally, could like to have a fire if we could, but that's not going to be possible anytime soon, I don't think. Okay. Probably not going to stay there either, but we'll just take our time. Now, what we're going to try and do the when the fellas arrive to take away the uh, the combine, I do believe they're bringing a telehandler to try and load it all on with. Apparently, so if that is the case, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do about trying to kind of capture some of that. I guess up it goes. Dump this into here anyway. There we go. Oh, we dropped one as well. Perfect. Come back for that, big lad. Yeah, we might just get enough of all this saved up so we can get a bit of a fire going at some point, I reckon. But we'll see. Oh, hello. There it is. Good lord, look at that for a tractor. Uh, we might have to pull this one out of the way, actually. That looks like a shiny John Deere. What is with all these folks around here having big shiny John Deeres, eh? Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and give these fellas a little bit more space here where possible. Uh, get us pulled out of the way again for that reason. And then, uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this combine all unloaded or removed from the yard for the last time, shall we?
ladies and gentlemen, dare I say it, it's pretty much on. Um, that was quite something. I tried to get the drone out there to capture as much of it as possible. I think I kind of did, to be honest. It's rather impressively just attached. So what we're going to do, we're going to let them get this all kind of buttoned up and squared away. And then uh, we are going to go, in the meantime, have a look at uh, getting some plowing done there, really. So, um... Yeah, we haven't taken the header trailer. They're going to come back for that and the and the pickup. So they're going to be going sooner rather than later there. But the main one has been done, I think you could say. Uh, it's It does look quite majestic there. But yeah, it's just a shame that it's not going to not gonna be staying around. But anyway, I'm going to let these guys get all folded up there. And then we will let them go on their way, I think. All right, then, folks, for one of... Well, one of the final pieces of Grandad's farming equipment is leaving... It's a big moment actually it's a sad moment there. that's an integral part i remember vividly having a, a ride on that when i was younger being pulled off it because uh, it was too dusty and my mum didn't like me being on there and there it goes it is away uh and hopefully someone will find some use for some of the parts in there but i honestly think it's just gonna end up getting scrapped there and that will be it but for now like i say we all we can do is get cracking along with what we can do here uh which is for now Getting used to our little uh, our new tractor of our own here, seeing how it works, getting uh, put to some some use, and really, and really, doing at the start the, the the first piece of work that we can actually do on the farm here. So uh, we are going to uh, just take us for a spin, really, more than anything else. I'm just curious to see what it's going to be like. So we've got the four four plow on the back there. What we're going to do is, as I mentioned there, this field's going to get split up, uh, get split up even into several smaller fields. Uh, now we need to think about how that's going to work. So what we'll probably end up doing first of all is just putting like a demarcation in really. Uh, this little bit in the corner here, this dog leg, we're going to make this into a bit of a grass paddock to start with. Uh, now I am looking at planting a, a mixture of a fence or building a fence along here and uh, and then also putting in a hedgerow where possible. So we'll have to see if we can get that done. But first of all, yeah, let's just get this marked out so that we can we know where we're plowing to. We're going to get this turned over. I'm gonna roughly stick this uh we'll have to get this roughly plowed out how i want and then we'll bring in the um we'll have to measure it already because we have to do this all by the books and register how it's all been worked out so uh we're gonna look about there i reckon using the line down the middle of the bonnet there and that far tree you can see that's what we're gonna go to today put that down uh, okay off we go happy days we we are farming granddad's farm can you believe it we've finally got there uh so like i say this is going to be the main tractor for us uh the moment i'm going to keep hold of just all of the other tractors that are going to be on the yard with the exception of the forward control that's going to be going the fear and this will be doing the bulk of the work the uh, other two are more well the the older fear there is just going to be a, co a collector's edition really we might take that to the odd show here and there but uh yeah this is going to be doing the, like a grunt of the the heavy lifting really um i need to have a look to see after we get this plowed over uh, i'm going to check in to see what the condition is of that um of the drill because we have the seed we need to get this drilled and we need to get the rest of our land done over as well so uh otherwise that could be the next thing on our list to purchase but happy with the tractor it's mechanically it's sound it's pairing along with the plow on the back here the plow itself is good look at that straight line that's arrow straight as well that is perfect And we are on to the next one then, really. So yeah, all things uh, being equal, we'll get this field done across the course of uh, of this afternoon, and then we'll be onwards. So let's uh, let's see how we get on over the course of the next couple of weeks, really, as we get we'll try and get whichever of these fields we're going to put into a spring barley. We'll get that done. The fields that we rolled uh, cultivated out the other day, that will be a spring barley as well. It's probably just going to be a feed barley because I don't think the soil condition is all that great. I can't expect anything in terms of a good yield. Uh, and we'll see how we get on the rest of the way. Uh, for now, though, I'm just going to kind of keep rumbling along with this. Get this little bit done. And then we'll get all the rest of the equipment pulled out of that yard and tidied up and checked out there as well. So big day today. Lots of progress here. One uh, one piece of equipment out. One brand new or two brand new pieces in. And it feels like we're starting to inch ever closer to it being a, a, a fully functioning yard. So... If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, don't forget to leave those down below. I'll happily take a look and answer those where I can. Uh, until next time, though, we're going to leave it here. So thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Alex. This has been um, the latest update in me trying to save my granddad's farm. And we will see you all in the next one. Have yourself a great day, folks. Enjoy what you're doing. And we'll see you all later.